Hi friends! I hope everyone is staying happy and healthy. Today I am going to share a book with you called Read This Book If You Don't Want a Story. This is written by Richard Phillips and the pictures are by Eric Zells. This is a really special book to me because some of my old students gave it to me and they wrote on the inside. The book with no story is the name of this book. No elves that are naughty, no pirates with hooks, no frogs become princes, no dogs driving cars, no rockets on journeys to Saturn or Mars. I'll show you no pictures, no scares and no thrills, no cows on trapezes, no fish with big gills, no polar bears on snowboards, no quacking duck bills. Hello? Um, excuse me, how can a book have no story? Who said that? Page 6, look at the top left corner. Well, page 6, because I am the book with no story and I should know. The book with no story is me and I alone decide whether or not I tell a story. Now, where was I? Ah, uh, yes, no polar bears on snowboards, no quacking duck bills, no cyclists on high wires, no acrobat skills, no bears that are fuzzy, no genies gone bald, because the book with no story is what I am called. No once upon a times, no happily ever afters, no roller skating llamas to induce laughter, no uplifting ending when the beginning was sad, no story at all, period. Too bad. Shouldn't I have some say about this too? Who's talking? Page 8. Hi, and welcome to my cool page. Do you like it? You see on here it says, No page turn on red. Do not turn the page. No story beyond this point. Stop reading! What is going on here? I agree with page 6. Every book needs a story. I don't care, page 10. I will not tell a story. And anyway, we've turned the page on page 6. It's history. Well, if you're not going to have a story, at least have a cool picture of a monkey taking a selfie. What is this? I said no pictures, page 11. Didn't you read that on page 5? How can I read page 5? On page 11. Listen to me, pages 1 through 11. I will not have a story and I mean it. I'm the book and I say what kind of story I want to tell. Aha! You said story. I made a mistake. No, you didn't. Yes, I did, page 12. No, you didn't. Go away, page 13. ask why you don't want to tell a story, Mr. Book? Because I just don't. But what's the point of a book with no story? Don't you want the reader to be entertained? For the last time, no. For the last time, why not? Because maybe I just don't have a story to tell, okay? Now are you satisfied? Ah, uh, come on, Mr. Book. We can help you tell a great story. Go for it, page 16. Once upon a time, Prince Porkchop Lover discovered that Princess Leaping Pickle had been kidnapped by a giant woolly tundra snail. Stop, stop, stop. What is this nonsense? We just wanted to inspire you with a super cool opening. I don't want to be inspired, page 17. I just want to be a book with no story, especially without a giant woolly tundra snail, whatever that is. Now leave me alone.
Do you know what you need, big fella? What? A big hug. A big hug? Yes, a big hug from all of us. The story we know is inside of you. Oh, good grief. Reader, can you please close the book for a moment? We are all going to give the book with no story a big, huge hug. On the count of three, one, two, three. Hug Mr. Book! Sometimes it takes a big hug to inspire someone to do great things, right? Hey, there are some words coming out, but they're all crooked and smushed together. Ready to tell a story now, big fella? I can't even breathe. Oh, come on. Haven't you ever been bear hugged before? Let's try something else. Do us another favor, reader. Can you shake Mr. Book three times? Shake, shake, shake! Ah, that's better. Thank you, reader. Now, Mr. Book, the words seem to be pouring out of you. How do you feel? Frogs, dogs, pirates, thrills, Mars, story, magic. I can breathe again, but I think my pages have come loose. Trust us, Mr. Book. Your pages have been loose for a long time. Ready to tell a story? I guess so, but I'm still afraid I don't have anything interesting to tell. Well, you'll never know if you don't try. Okay, here goes. Once upon a time there was a book who felt he had no story to tell, but then his annoying pages gave him a hug and talked his readers into shaking his words loose and told the book he was capable of telling a story. The end. How was that? Meh. Meh. We think you can do better. Better? There's magic in you, Mr. Book. You just have to let it out. There's Mr. Book. Okay, now let me think. Eureka! I have an idea. Why don't cr we create all stories with the words we already have? I'll start. Once upon a time, there was a timid book who thought he had nothing to say, and then... Did the polar bear really have a snowboard? And I wonder if the pirate had a broadsword. I want to know more about the elves who are naughty. Do you think they eat up all the chocolate biscotti? Do you think the genie really fly to Saturn or Mars? Or ride with the dogs driving fancy new cars? A book full of stories is what I've become. Imagine a story and let's have some fun. Imagine a poem, imagine a play, but don't ever imagine you have nothing to say. And that's the end. Well, I hope you liked listening to that story. And I hope that you guys can come up with some of your own crazy stories just like Mr. Book. I hope everyone stays happy and healthy.